Hello guys, it's Jarissa. Welcome to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video. I'm going to be deep cleaning our fridge, organizing shelves, cleaning our windows, and also stay tuned for a little patio makeover at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I would love for you to become part of our family. Let's get into it. First, I'm going to be starting by the kitchen. I have lots of things to do and lots of things to clean. What I like to do first is to clean all the dishes and the countertop so I can have a clean space that I can work with. I just wanna be I always like making sure that the sink and the backsplash behind the sink and all the bottles are clean because I use this all the time. So I just go ahead with a little sponge and add some light soap or soap and make sure that it's really dry. Then I'm gonna start working on the other countertop where our coffee maker is. You guys probably saw this in my kitchen makeover. I made this using only contact paper. So if you wanna watch that video, I'm gonna put it up there. And then every time I need to disinfect something, I always use Lysol and the soap and this gets it very clean. Let me know if you have any recommendations for non-toxic cleaners because our cat is allergic to cleaners. So I have to be very careful with what I use. I also wanted to make sure that I could clean all these shelves because I haven't touched them since I put them up there. I know it's terrible, but it collects a lot of dust and I just want to make sure that everything is very clean and that there is no fussies or anything there. Now it's time to work on the fridge and this one is a major one. Usually I clean the fridge when it's time to buy new groceries. We have been getting a lot of groceries because we don't really go anywhere. So I just take everything out and then wash all the drawers and all that. As we eat a lot of vegetables, these drawers get really dirty very quick. So this is why I like taking them out and just washing them off. And I clean these ones with hot water and also the dish soap and Lysol. And I just use a little small brush and the sponge and make sure that I scrub everything very well so it's really clean and then I just let it dry. Once all the drawers are clean, I just like going inside the fridge and taking a little sponge and scrubbing everything so I can make sure that everything is clean. Once everything is scrubbed down, I just take a white damp towel to make sure that everything is really clean. Now something has spilled on the bottom and this is a main concern that I had, but I basically just took a little sponge and scrubbed everything, even the hoses, and I got it to look really white back again. As you can see, it's really important to take all these things out because even though we think we're cleaning them, if you don't really go into them, they start growing stuff in there and it's just not good. So I just take everything out and spray Lysol on it and use my little brush and then just rinse it off with hot water and it's really clean like that. After I put everything back in there, I just make sure that I wipe everything very well and now it's time to put everything back on. Usually what I do with the groceries is that I put all the old stuff on the top so we can find it and nothing goes bad. We are getting the groceries delivered to the house and Chris is nice enough like to help me put them away because this is really like one of the things that I don't really like doing and it's just that I have to take everything out and then I rinse everything off because we get the food delivered to the house and I just feel like it's a lot of work but you let me know how you feel about this I just don't I don't know this is like my least favorite thing to do and 
there is our fridge very organized and clean. I love it. <laughs> now the other thing that I wanted to work on is this cabinet. Here's where we keep all our seasonings and the issue is that we had a lot of seasonings and like sauces and things we didn't really use or like. So I wanted to get rid of all of that. I just went into the cabinet and took everything out and started to separate it by what I was going to keep, what could be recycled, what was going to be in the trash. I emptied the containers and put the ones that were recyclable in the recycling container. Then I went ahead and took a damp towel and started to clean all the little containers because I wanted to make sure that they didn't have any grease or anything like that on them. But sometimes I just want somebody to talk to then I went into the cabinet and I cleaned it up. And then to organize them, I put everything that we used the most in the first shelf, and then the second used in the second shelf, and then all the extras that we had, I put on the top shelf because we don't really use them that often. And I'm really glad now I can find everything that I need and everything is very organized. After I have done everything else in the kitchen, the last thing I like to do is to clean the floor because I know I'm not gonna be walking on it. I know that a lot of people don't like rocks on the kitchen, but I like this one and I have it there. And what I do is that I go over it with the vacuum machine and I vacuum the whole floor with it laying down. And then I take it off and I vacuum again to make sure that there's no crumbs or anything left. Then after I have vacuum, I take my hot water with some Lysol on it and I wipe down the floor. I do this twice to make sure that everything is very well cleaned and that there is no stains or anything like that. I also decided to wipe down the cabinet doors because they had a lot of water stains and as we do a lot of dishes, this is something that I have to do really often. And in the end, we have a very clean and organized kitchen ready for the fall decor, so stay tuned for that. I just wanna be this is the other area that is right next to the kitchen. This is where I spend most of the time with Zoe, where I feed her, where I edit my videos. So I'm going to be putting this together a little bit. I start by brooming the floor because I want to make sure that there is no big crumbs or anything like that on the floor before I start vacuuming. Now after I have vacuumed and all that, I just like to take a bucket with hot water and some Lysol on it and again I just wipe the floor two times to make sure that everything is clean and that she can crawl and play and do everything she likes in here. After I put everything back in place, I just like cleaning the table because we use this table a lot and it's always, always stained. I don't know, glass tables are not really my thing anymore. I really have to be cleaning this thing all the time, so this is why I'm not such a lover of it anymore. But I think the next time that we buy a table, I'm just gonna buy a wood table because these ones are very hard to keep clean, <laughs> especially when you have a baby. Now I'm going to be working in the living room and in this area the main concern that I had was this bookshelf. This is a bookshelf that he had when I first moved in and it's filled with his books. As I was taking the books off I was wiping all of them off to take all the dust away and then I was also wiping the shelves. Then it was time to sort out all the books. Basically, I just put them in another cabinet that we had that is in his office. And I'm going to be reorganizing that in the future. But for now, my main concern was to get this bookshelf clean. To decorate the shelf, I just used some things that were in there before, like some family pictures that he had. Then I used some books that I felt would go with the fall decor that I'm planning on doing pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. 
And I also used some DIYs that I had made and some other things that I had laying around the house. Then it was time to clean the floor and I wanted to get this rug out of here because he didn't like it and also it was collecting a lot of dust. I moved also the couch around because I know that there's a lot of fuzzies and things like that that get underneath. I also took my little roller because I wanted to make sure that there wasn't any dust or any fuzzies on the couch and I did the same thing also with the pillows. So I control the volume, I like to dance by myself. So I can do my own moves, no, I don't need a hint to hold tight, don't need a love that's all mine, but sometimes I just want somebody to talk. I really like how the living room turned out and I'm happy without that rug being in there anymore. I feel like maybe later I'm gonna buy another one, but for now I like it like this. It was also time to clean our sheets, so I wanted to take everything off and just organize our room a little bit. I had also organized all of our sheets, so now it's really easy for him to find everything in the closet and I'm really happy for that. I'm going to list this video up here so you guys can watch it. Our bed setup is really simple. I just throw a blanket that I use very often. We have a bigger one, but I just like this one because it's so much easier to put away. And then the pillows that I'm using in the house, I bought from Home Goods, and I feel like they are really cute and simple. I also wanted to wipe down our nightstands because they collect a lot of dust. That's the main problem that we have here in the house. We always have a lot of dust. And this is what our bedroom looks like, very clean and very organized. Do we have to clean the windows? Yes, we have to clean them! <laughs> now it's time for a big job and this is our windows. This is something that I was waiting on because my back was bothering me, but now I feel finally okay to do this. Our cordless vacuum machine comes with this little stick for things like this and I'm really happy because you can get into small spaces and just get everything very clean. Once I had vacuumed everything, I took a little sponge and I started to get into the tiny places to get all the dust and everything like that. I like starting by cleaning the windows from the inside because it's really hot here in Florida so I know that by the time I will be done with the outside I'm gonna be sweating and I just wanna get this done first so after I'm done I can just take a shower and be done. After I was done with that, I just took a bucket with some dish soap and my hose and started to brush everything with our broom. I just used a towel or an old t-shirt to dry it up and they look really clean like this. I also decided to record the window cleaning from the inside so you guys could feel like you were actually watching it in the house.
When I was in this area cleaning this window, I also decided to clean the patio because we had moved everything around because of a storm that was coming, so it was looking really bad. I just decided to clean it up a little bit. This is one of the projects that I have on standby. This is the part of the house that I like the least. The people that used to live in this house had a carpet on the porch and there's still some pieces that I tried to get off, but it's just really hard. So I'm gonna need somebody to clean that up for me. Then once somebody will take that carpet off, I'm gonna be able to redo the floor and make it look a little nicer. I washed all the cushions and everything like that and then I decided to make a little piece of decor for the wall using this stick that I found on one of our walks. I just took some yarn that I had left from one of my projects and I tied it down with some twine leaving it at different lengths. Then I needed Chris's help to hang it up because I'm a munchkin and I can't reach up there. And in the end to decorate I just used some palm trees that were growing in our backyard and threw the same pillows that were here before and I felt like it looks really nice like this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, I hope that you liked it, thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comment section if you would like to see more videos like this and stay tuned because I'm going to be decorating in the house for fall. Thanks for watching, bye bye!